Psalm 103 Praise the Lord, O my soul, O my innermost being, praise His holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not His benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like that of an eagle. Father, I am grateful for your tender mercies towards me. I am grateful for your daily benefits. I am grateful for your healing miracles. Thank you for satisfying my desires with good things and healing all my diseases. Father, I thank you. Thank you for sustaining me even in times of deep agony. Your word says in Psalm 41 verse 3, The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from their bed of illness. Thank you, because every time I call on you for help, you answer me. Psalm 107 verses 19 and 20 says, Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He saved them from their distress. He sent out His word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Lord, I thank you for sending your word and healing my diseases. Thank you for hearing my cry for help. Thank you for saving me from distress. In Psalm 30 verse 2, it says, Lord my God, I called out to you for help and you healed me. So Lord, I thank you. Thank you for your perfect healing. Thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus that made provision for my healing. Isaiah 53 verses 4 and 5 says that, Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgression, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Thank you for taking my pain, Jesus. Thank you for bearing my suffering. Thank you for the punishments for my sin upon yourself. Thank you because by your wounds I am now healed. I am healed and restored. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 further confirms my healing and says he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my healing. Thank you for not just healing my body. Thank you for healing my mind. Psalm 147 verse 3 says that you healed the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. Thank you for taking the broken pieces of my heart and mending them together. Thank you for restoring joy to my soul and peace to my life. John 14 verse 27 says, Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So Father, I thank you for my peace. Thank you for peace above the troubles of the world. I thank you for casting out anxieties and worries from my life. Thank you for giving me strength. Thank you for strengthening my life, my body and my spirit. Thank you for refreshing my soul and renewing my strength. Thank you for casting out weariness from my life. Isaiah 40 verses 29 and 31 reads, he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Father, hope is in you. As I run the race of life, I will not be weary. Even when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I know that you are with me. I will not faint. Thank you for strengthening me, Jesus. In my times of distress, in my times of weariness, in my times of brokenness, thank you for holding my hand. Thank you for being my comfort. 
Lord, I thank you for my family. Thank you for the gifts of the divine healing over them. I am reminded of your word in Jeremiah 33 verse 6 which says, Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to you. I will heal my people and let them enjoy abundance, peace and security. Lord, please health and healing to the lives of my family members and those that I love. We want to enjoy your peace and security in our homes, in our marriages, in our businesses and our cities. Lord, let your healing flow through our lives. Let it touch every single member of my family and community. Your word also says in Jeremiah 30 verse 17 that you will restore us to health and heal our wounds. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your restoration. But I will restore you to health and heal you. Father, I ask for your mercy over my life, my family and my city. Lord, we know that we may have opened doors to sicknesses and diseases through our actions. Lord, we are crying out to you for healing. If our actions have led us to the point where we are, have mercy on us and heal us, O Lord. Your word instructs us in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. Send us your healing, Lord, even as we turn our hearts to you in repentance. Deliver us from the noise and pestilence as you promised in Psalm 91. You promised to deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the pestilence that plagues the land. So Lord, deliver us from epidemics. Deliver us from pandemics. Deliver us from the diseases that rake through the land, searching for whom to devour. Thank you, Lord, for you are a refuge for your people, a safe place, a hiding space. You have marked us and as such, diseases have no rule over our bodies. Thank you, Lord, for your infinite mercies, for your love that never fails, for your compassion that floods us like a river. So I thank you, Lord Jesus, lover of my soul. The Bible tells me in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 23 that you went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every sickness and disease among the people. And in verse 24, it says that news spread about you all around Syria and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pain, the demon possessed, those having seizures and the paralyzed, and he healed them. So Lord, I know that there's no case that isn't covered under the blood of Jesus. By the wounds of Jesus, all diseases can be healed. Mental illness, cancers, paralysis of all sorts, seizures, all of them are covered by the blood of Jesus. So Lord, I know that you can heal me. My case is not too difficult for you to handle. I am reminded of the madman who lived at the Thames. My case may have been written off like that man. He was no longer bound because no chains could bind him. The Bible records in Mark 5 verses 3 and 4 that this man lived at the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. For he had been chained hands and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet and no one could subdue him. Verse 5 says that night and day among the terms and in the hills, he would cry and cut himself with stones. Lord, this man had been written off. The chains that bound him were in his mind. There were no physical chains, but he lived amongst the dead, the place of hopelessness, the gathering of dead dreams and aspirations. But the story changed on encountering you. Verse 6 records that when he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell to his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me? Jesus, Son of the Most High God, in God's name, don't torture me. For Jesus had said to him, Come out of him, you impure spirits. So Lord, I know that every foul and impure spirit 
behind every sickness in my life and that of my loved ones shall be cast out. Thank you for your healing, Lord, for healing my mind, body and soul, for preserving my family and for healing my land. Father, may you continually receive all my worship and praise. Amen.